going to win between Terry Booger and Ahmad. Now, you know, usually in this match, Gank Hill is, you know, they say that he was a low-tech character, but I don't really think he is. I think he's a great character. He has good folks. You know, he has uh, really good combos and mix-ups. Kyo Kusanagi being that one character that has the staple of King of Fighters. Great backdash, great buttons, great small jump. You know, it's really hard sometimes to, you know, stop Kyo's offense, but we'll see if Omar can do it. Uh, both these guys have a pretty similar game plan coming out because both characters, both Kyo and Gong Eel, are high pressure don't need a lot of meter in order to maintain that pressure and can, if they find the right opening and they can get in their opponent's head, they can lock down the entire round. That's very true. And Armada gets a hit and he goes into max cancel, but it wasn't enough damage to seal the round. But here right now, Armada is really playing really solid. Oh, but Terry Bull gets a hit. Will this be enough to, oh, but he drops oh, the combo. Yeah. Oh, and, and the jungle short. And that's been kind of the, uh, that's been kind of the mark of uh, Terry today. Um, he's been just, really finding those single light hit confirms uh -huh. but uh, i think just the amount of juggling between different games uh he's been dropping some combos that he hadn't been dropping before today that i'd seen so whether or not he can shake off that rust might be the determining factor Woo! that was an uppercut this ain't capcom you're right this is snk that was an snk uppercut <laughs> snk uppercut snk <laughs> All right, so this is a classic rivalry between Robert Garcia and uh, Ryo, uh, Ryo Sakazaki. These two characters go way back, uh, Art of Fighting 1, so it's always an honor to see them fight against each other. And as time's gone on, these characters had diverged in their play style. They used to be almost carbon copies of one another, and now they are quite different. Uh, Robert, uh, really a jack of all trades, wide range of tools, and Kyo, all right, Ro. <laughs> Ryo can no, really. No. Uh, <laughs> well, he plays both, and it always throws me off. I got you. But uh, Ryo has just an incredible ability to just press someone in the corner, and, you know, finding that few frame advantage that he's going to get off of that parry can just give him an opening that he needs. All right, so Ahmad finds an opening right now within uh, the offense of Terry Booker. So he gets Terry Booker in the corner right now. Will be the mix. Oh, and. Terry Booker goes, wake up, throw. What an excellent choice. Oh. I wouldn't have done it, but hey, if it works, it works, right? Well, that's because you are a cultured, cultivated man, and that right there is an animal. Uh -huh, that's true. Now, you know, Kim Kapoor being no stranger. Ooh, nice open in the max cancel. Whoa, but Amon does not follow up with any type of combo after it. Maybe the nerves are getting to him playing oh on the my stage. Oh, God, that was a wild kick. Ooh, he goes for a reset. Terry Booger right now with a two-character lead. Oh, and he gets the overhead on a mutt. Oh, and he gets double uppercut. Oh, and he gets a fireball in the corner. Woo, kid. You see that? This ain't Ryu. This ain't kid. This is Rio, baby. Woo, kid. You know what I mean? Ahmed's going to have to kind of calm down a bit. Um, he's he's hope, he's basically just throwing the dice, hoping he's going to get these, you know, wake-up options, uh, get these you know, hard reads, mm -hmm. and Terry's just not falling for it. So he's he's going to have to double back and play more fundamental. You know what? You know what? You know what the real thing is. Ahmad's team is Benny Maru, Goro Diamond, Kyo Kusanagi. Right now, he's playing his off-brand team because maybe he just thinks that this team is going to go somewhere. But I just don't think it's going to work. But hey, you know what? Maybe maybe he can make it work. At a monthly earlier this year, I remember he came in with this team, uh, got put back on his heels, switched over to Team Japan. And it didn't work out. Oh. And he ran back to this team. Really? So I don't think it's so much a, uh, I don't think that he's so much better or more accomplished with this team. I think that LeBro has just played against his team Japan so much that he's just in his head. He knows what he's going to do. He knows how he thinks with that team. I see. Well, right now, Ahmad is doing really well with um, Gang Hill right now, which is good. Like I said, Gang Hill is a poking character. He's not, people, like I said, people say he's low tier, but Shao Hai makes it work. You know, he knows how to play Gang Hill. He's won a major with this character. So maybe that's the inspiration that, uh, you know, uh, Ahmad is using right now, using this low tier character. Ooh, good overhead by Terry Wooger. Run up throw, very good run up throw also. And Terry Wooger realizes that he's not going to be afraid of gang here at all. He's just gonna go rush him down, get a throw, and just get and win, you know? He's not afraid to play Rio aggressively. Yeah, LeBro seems to be uh, kind of settling in. He's found his groove and 
mean, so far, other than that one drop earlier, things have really, really gone his way now. Ooh. Yeah. Man, I tell you, Robert, uh, Robert Garcia is such an amazing character because, you know, he's kind of based off uh, Steven Seagal, you know? Mm -hmm. That sneaky overhead every time Terry Booker. It's like they both did the same thing to each other. The real Karumbu. That's the name of that super. I don't know what to attribute it to, but it seems like that overhead always pays dividends. It oh. finds his mark far more often than not. Oh, man, am I going for a risky uppercut? This ain't kept. Got to get those uppercuts out of you. Scale up. When in doubt, roll to get out. <laughs> Ooh, the small jump pressure. I love it. Terry Booger having a life lead right now, so he needs to keep that life lead. Oh, and my gets a CD. Ooh. Oh, and he does a little short in the match cancel, and he just takes it because he wasn't afraid of Terry Booger's pressure. Now, as of course, the name, it says itself. It says Terry Booger. But guess who he's playing right now? <laughs> Terry Booger. Terry Bogar. That's his favorite character of all time. That is his Which favorite is one of my character. favorite characters of all time. And my God, does he have guard crush setups just on tap. So I hope you got a meter to knock him away or <laughs> roll away. That's true. Ooh, and Terry Bogar missing against Max Cancel. Maximo combo. Ooh, and he does L4 C into a uh, crux shoot. All right. All right, both players have exhausted a lot of resources. They're only going to be starting this round with a bar apiece. All right, so you remember in the movie, uh, Terry, uh, Fate of Fury, the next battle, this this fight actually happened, but Terry won. Do you think Kim's going to be able to avenge himself right now? Um, honestly, if I was a betting man, I'd go with Booker to take it. Ooh, okay, I like him. Ooh, crux you. He goes for the jump a little short. Amon doing so good, a oh. good job at staying out of Terry Booker's range right now. Small jump. Oh, overhead. Terry Booker being rushed down. A lot the of stray right hits. Oh, he gets a CD. Terry Booker, oh, my mom wakes up with a little short. Oh, Terry Booker gets a CD again in the air. In the air. Oh, and he gets a stand right. My God. Wow. wow. You were right. Hey. You were right. Terry, Terry Booker using that stand roundhouse. That is a button he doesn't use very much. That button covers a lot, and it hits people crouching, which is good, you know? So, mm -hmm. And again, Amon plays this team. He yeah. plays this team again. Why, 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 why? I guess that's, I, despite all this, I think that's still where his confidence lies. I don't know, man. I, I, I really think that if he switched to kill Vinny Morrow, Goro Diamond, he would have a better shot. I mean, this team is just, I don't know. It, it, does, it lacks a lot of team synergy. You know, it seems like Amon's best character right now is Robert. And... Ahmad seems to be playing like fire against fire here. Like all the characters are kind of fulfilling the same roles on both teams. You know, it's and he's come up short two games in a row. It might have been a good option to switch out for something uh, a little more un un unorthodox. Okay, you're absolutely right. Ahmad loves command grab characters. I'm very shocked that he's not playing this go-to character, which is uh, Goro Diamond. Wow. Terry Booker ain't killed so well with those combos. Now, Ahmad will not really pick characters a la carte. Like, he he likes to play a specific team at a time. Okay. Like, these three characters or these three characters. He doesn't like to interchange. Okay. I mean, that's true. I mean, I, I'm very stubborn with my team. My team's very low tier, but I understand <laughs> uh, team love. You know what I mean? It's very oh, hard. To trust me. I know. Oh. Terry Booker right now on the defensive. Okay, he's on the offensive right now. You know, Ahmad is playing Robert so street fighter like. He does a few <laughs> small jumps, throws a few fireballs, gets uppercut. Oh! Oh, and this is going to take it. Real Karumbu. I would like to see Ahmad go with the. Uh... Ah! You know, that's such a good super. Oh, wonderful. I would like to see him work the fireball game a little bit. He hasn't explored it in this match. So, you know, if he's going to stick with these characters, he might as well try to approach the match with them in a slightly different way. It's very true. You know, and that's the thing about one of this matchup that, that is quite amazing, is that Rio being a slower character than Robert, but his hits hurt so much. It's like very similar to Ken and Ryu, but, you know, I, I believe Rio is better than Ryu. But I do feel as though Rio does so much damage that he can, he can capitalize and get more hits if he, when he rushes down. You know, Terry Booker playing him so slow right now. That's a finish with a combo. Ahmed kind of proven it's not a really terrible idea to uh, press some buttons here and there to possibly interrupt that overhead because it worked out for him before this unfortunate end of the round. Or 
I mean, that's very true. And, uh, you know, that overhead is actually, you know, uh, it's very, uh, it's unsafe. You can't punish it. But when he has maximum, he can make it safe. Mm -hmm. Which, I, you know, but, you know, but it's always that fear. If you press the button too late, when it Rio does an overhead on you, you'll get hit. So, oh, stand jab on a small jump. You see this, do you see this rush down? Rush down by uh, Terry Boone? There it is. There's the overhead. Makes Whoa. me feel a little better about getting hit by it. Oh, if he does small jump, Amada has to try to figure out a way to get out of this corner. All right. Yeah, he's, ha he's having to earn his way back in the oh. mid-screen. Finds his opening. This could be the... Oh, he doesn't, really, it doesn't follow up with Super at all. This might cost him the game. This is that part in the game where you kind of have to place your bets. Or, or is it better for me to spend the resources now to kill this character and have nothing to go in with against the uh, anchor? Or... Do I think it's going to work out my way either way? Oh, and uh, Amato goes for a overhead. Amato, he's not doing any uh, any type of anti airs on Rio's small jumps whatsoever. Oh, he just run up low short. Okay, so Amato Amato has only a little bit of life, but he has meter, so he can find a way to come back in this match. Trey Booker having, I guess it's going to give him one bar, two bars. Okay, yeah, there's a movie burn, Uncle. Watch out. Oh, there it is. Oh, the cross-up was so good, but nothing capitalized. I know. Oh, and he backdash gets hit by the EX Power Wave. This is very, oh. very scary. This is be a And Amaro does not finish the combo. Oh, and that was going to be it. Can I commit it? Oh, oh, and a trade on a double small jump in the air. That's the thing about King of Fighters, man. It trades happen a lot because both characters are trying to be much more aggressive to yeah. one another. You know what I mean? Yeah, the cat. Just in nature, it's those SNK aggressive hitboxes. Yeah. Very strong offensively. That's very true. You know, uh, and uh, Terry Booker taking that 3 0.